Saturday 11th of August. So couldn't bad news this morning. Good news is that uh, Indian e-visas have been approved in one day. I filled out the application form in uh, Andit Dijon in the evening. It's a complete nightmare to fill out the form on the internet but <laughs> luckily our visas have been approved pretty quickly. That's good. That'll be the country we go to after um, Kyrgyzstan. We'll fly directly from Bishkek to New Delhi is the plan. So that's good. But the uh, bad thing is now I've got a bad stomach again this morning. <laughs> so oh, that's what you hear about. Lots of people suffer from in this part of uh, Central Asia. So the plan was to uh, cycle tomorrow. Let's see how it goes today if we can do that. But, um, the main reason for coming here that was to meet other explorers. So we've done that this morning having breakfast. I'll just go and show you around and show you some of the, the trucks that are parked outside here. It looks like most of the people have already moved on, but uh, you can actually camp here as well. We met uh, two guys from Belgium, they just cycled the Pami Highway and they were camping here. Uh, they're flying home tomorrow. They just spent one month on the Pami Highway and then over here there's a family from... Uh, they're actually from... well, the guy's from Italy, and the lady's from... his wife is from uh, Japan. Their kids and family, they all live in Switzerland now. <laughs> And they're in that Land Cruiser there. They, uh, he actually drove that Land Cruiser from uh, Switzerland to here in six days. So oh, now everybody's off. The green Volkswagen there, they're off to the Pamir Highway. The Land Cruiser is off to Uzbekistan. Okay, I'm mainly in the hotel room this morning because once again suffering from bad stomach. It's uh, something that a lot of people suffer from in this area, but now twice. <laughs> Uh, now we're just venturing out. There's a few attractions here in Osh. Um, one of them we'll see now is the old bazaar. So we'll have a look at that. We need to buy a few uh, things for our bikes. There should be a bike shop in here somewhere. See if we can find that. Well, this bazaar this should be one of the biggest and most colourful in the whole of Central Asia. It's been here for 2,000 years since the time of the when the Silk Road was in operation. So trade us here from China and Central Asia where they would meet here and exchange goods that would be then transported further down the Silk Road. So uh, 2,000 years old, that's very colourful. You can buy anything here, you know. A lot of it comes from China, I think. Okay, the funny thing is Daddy are finding the pumps and the things in the tube to pump the things. So that is what we are doing and this is the guy, hello! <laughs> they are helping us and this is very funny, this is a bazaar and now we are trying to find this. And it's very long way from home. This is not the same as in Denmark. This is Kyrgyzstan shop. No, I never thought we would find a bicycle shop in uh, Oshia, but there is actually quite a few stalls here in the old bazaar. So now we've got uh, some more elastics because they keep breaking, some spare inner tubes and a puncture repair kit and because Jamie keeps having punctures all the time. Yes, <laughs> and I bought this thing. Oh, looks like all my energy. <laughs> He's used up for today now after visiting the bazaar. I just tried to eat something but couldn't eat anything. So oh, I'll leave Meadow and Jamie in the restaurant and go back and have a rest, I think, in the hotel. It looks like we won't be biking tomorrow. I have to stay here another day and try and uh, get my energy back. <laughs> oh dear. This is what you hear about in uh, this part of the world that people often get bad stomach. So. Yeah, that's the way it is. Okay, go back to the hotel and have a rest. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, good morning. Now it's the 12th of August and today we are seeing a mountain called... What is the mountain called? The mountain daddy. Solomon. Solomon Mountain today. And that is the attraction we are seeing today. And today we are much better today. And it was yesterday and mom and dad was very bad, feeling bad in the stomach. But today they have much better. So maybe okay, it was today. good to arrest yesterday. Yeah, I'm feeling much better today. Yeah. Okay, so out and about 
again today. Yeah, much better today. Yesterday, this time yesterday, I had no idea how I was going to get up these steps here. But, uh, the energy was completely drained away. Today is better, full of energy again. And can I tell you something amazing? For the first time since we arrived in uh, Central Asia, it's not hot, it's cloudy, and it's just a nice temperature. Oh, yes. Totally strange. It's actually a bit of fresh air. Really, mm. really nice. Yeah. Good weather to climb a mountain. So much that it's got to be good in the mountains to see some nice nature and sleep in our tent again with a nice view and maybe a nice stream or something. So fed up with these towns and hotels and restaurants. I really, really hope it's going to be good. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Suleiman Mountain. I'll tell you a, bit, a little bit more about this when we get there. Won't be long. There's a museum here and a few other attractions on the way up. So let's go and have a look. There's just a museum here at the base of the mountain. So you can see here, it's just the reason why they let foreigners in so quickly at the border. Because you have to pay, what, three times the cost that the locals pay. We pay 150 sums, they pay 50. <laughs> Interesting. This is a model of a Chilton. This is where people would come. They would spend uh, 40 days in here only drinking water and no food. And this was uh, a way to, to uh, eliminate depression. It's an How interesting that, concept. How can that help on that? You think that would make it worse? Yeah, that's what they did. And they would sit here in their own thoughts, meditating, clearing their mind and cleansing their body. Okay, so now we're on the way to Solomon Mountain. We'll go to the top of that now. Uh, Solomon, he was a very important uh, prophet in the Quran. Uh, we also know him in the West as King Solomon from the Bible, from the Old Testament. The wise and uh, very wealthy King Solomon, the uh, King of Israel, and also a uh, builder of the. Uh, of the uh, temple in Jerusalem. And he was a very powerful, important person. He came here. His mountain as well. It's also a World Heritage Site. Actually, the only World Heritage Site in Kyrgyzstan. So, should be an interesting place to visit. Also, actually, uh, it's known from ancient times. It's a halfway point on the Silk Road between China and uh, Venice and Italy, where it ends. So, um, it's actually the only hill as well, or only rock that just stands out here. You can see it's flat around us. This just stands out here, all on its own. So let's go and see the view from the top. Ready to do a bit of walking? I go up to a thousand meters now. Okay, this is one of the slides you've heard about. This one is apparently if you slide down here, it's good for your back. He's trying one so he doesn't get bad back. No, he can actually slide. Maybe it's the shape of people's back you can see here on the spine. <laughs> Amazing how the rock has been worn away over thousands of people sliding down here over many years. Mm -hmm. tell you about the King Solomon. King Solomon was here on this mountain and we uh, have a grave here and now I'll tell the story about him. He was a man and so he was a special man because one time he had a dream and God said to him what do you want to wish about what do you want to be and he said he wants to have wisdom so he will be so he God said, yes, it's okay, so you can have wisdom. So that is the story about King Solomon. And, and so he was very special man. After he will, he become rich and powerful and very good man. Wisdom means uh, he was very clever. Mm. 
this is a very nice view of Osh. So this is the flag of Kyrgyzstan that they've used since they got their independence. Well, it's been used since 1992, this flag here. One year after they got their independence. But, uh, the red background with the yellow sun, it also depicts a yurt, which is the tents we will see in the, in the mountains the next few days. It's the view you get when you look up through from uh, sitting in a yurt and looking up through the hole in the top. So now, now it actually is raining, but instead of running for cover, we're just sitting here and <laughs> soaking up the rain. So, uh, when we're at the top, they're up over a thousand meters. So it's as high as uh, Mount Snowden is, but it uh, wasn't a big challenge. We only came up 300 meters from the town there. But... Now it's time to do the shopping to get a uh, bag filled up with food now for when we start camping again. But it's not easy in a new country finding out what on earth all of these things are here. The one thing is funny here, the shopping bags here, they're Morrison's bags. <laughs> well, the shoppers are called Morrison's. No, well, I don't know where they got the bags from. Okay, now okay. we have to fix the punctures in the tires. Now we have fixing the tires. Yep. I'll show you what we're doing now. So we have these, uh, well, we've punctured about 10 times now. So we've got lots of inner tubes now that need repairing. And we actually have these smart uh, repair patches from Denmark. Pretty, well, pretty smart, they're just like stickers. You just uh, peel the backing off, stick them on. A bit of sandpaper first, very smart. The only problem is they keep leaking and falling off. <laughs> so. Given up on those now, even though we thought they were really smart in the beginning, see here, they just yeah, yeah. disintegrate. So, uh, go back to old fashioned patches with glue. So, you can see one of the smart patches. This is one I put on uh, last week, you can see it's already peeling away. Perfect. So this will be our rough plan in uh, Kyrgyzstan. We're here now in Osh. Tomorrow we will go around here to Jalalabad. And from there, it's up this road here, up into the mountains. Very high up into the mountains to here. Then we will make a, through the pass here, mountain pass to a lake called Sonkul Lake. And this uh, red dot there, that's the Silk Road. And from there, we will go up to another lake called uh, Isikul Lake and we'll go around the lake Karakul is here, we'll go there we're in the north part and either to Bishkek or to Almaty, we have to see how it goes ok so that was the end of our two days here in uh, Osh only supposed to be one day but uh, when we both had bad stomachs yesterday we had to spend another day but worked out well in the end so tomorrow we'll cycle to Jalalabad, stay in a hotel there and then uh, from there we should be heading into the mountains up to a lake that's called Sol Kul and I think it's a dirt track mainly from uh, Jalalabad so uh, that'll be good yeah. so yeah that's it really we'll um, we'll uh, cycling again tomorrow and uh, see you on the road tomorrow okay bye bye